Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I apply face tapes and a wig cap so that everything is nice and secure underneath my wig and it also helps to elevate the features of the face and get rid of little saggy bits and pieces that we don't want. What you're going to need are some face tapes which you can get on Amazon. Uh, they look like this, they come with a little backing and then they also come with uh, little cords and the way that I do mine is I spray them down with medical adhesive. You can use spirit gum, but I don't think spirit gum holds as well. You can also use silicone adhesive. Um, the one that I use is a uh, Hollister medical adhesive and I'll put links for everything in the description below. I uh, start off by threading the little cord through the face tape. I find that if you wait until the face tape is on, you run the risk of putting too much pressure on pulling the tape away as you're trying to get these in. So I like to have them done first and then I spray them with the medical adhesive so they have time to get tacky while I'm preparing the rest of my skin. This is the side that you're going to peel the little piece off. So you want to make sure that this is not resting on that side because you don't want it to be up against your skin. You want it to be on the outside of the tape. So what I do is I come in, I use both holes and I come in through the top and I thread the little thing through like this and then I come down into the second hole because I feel it just gives me stronger hold and it doesn't rip through the tape because I like to pull mine pretty tight. So you have this resting on the outside and then you pull the little stick -um off and spray it with your medical adhesive and then let them get tacky while you prepare the rest of your skin. First what you're going to want to do is I've shaved, I've cleansed, and I've moisturized and then I'm going to take a little cotton pad with some rubbing alcohol and you're going to cleanse the area with the alcohol that you want to apply your adhesives. So I do right here in the recessions and then I do right underneath my sideburn and then I do right behind my ear and my jawline. And then I like to take a fresh pad with some extra alcohol and I do the other side. And I just like to do two because I'm taking off oil, I'm taking off moisturizer, maybe a little bit of dirt, and I just want to make sure that the skin as, as, is as clean and dehydrated as possible so that the uh, adhesive really sticks to my skin. I use two wig caps. Uh, I just find them to be more secure and it gives me a little bit of a cleaner appearance. So I start my whole drag process by putting on my first wig cap. And you just want to make sure you're right at about the hairline and all the little bits and pieces are tucked in. And then I like to secure this with little clip barrettes. Um, you can get these on Amazon too. I got these gold ones um, because I, I like to work with things that are as flesh toned as possible so that you don't see them as I'm moving around, which is why I use a second wig cap that is flesh toned to cover everything up. And I like to secure these here. I use two for each section above the, the recession of my hairline and then down here towards the temple I want to secure that and I'm making sure that I'm clipping my hair and if you guys don't have hair honestly you can just skip this step and go right in with your face tape but I like to keep my hair when I'm not in drag it's just a personal preference And then this, securing this wig cap to my head also gives me something to secure my hair to with bobby pins, uh, my wig hair. And I just, I like the way it feels. I like it to feel secure. I don't want my wig to accidentally come off and I haven't planned on taking my wig off since probably 1998. Because I just don't think it's, it's like a death drop. It's just played out, again, my opinion. I'm creating an illusion. I don't want to break the illusion, especially on accident. And then I do two sections on either side of my nape with these little clip barrettes. So they look just like this, but here in the back, you guys can see that. So now that that's secured, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my face tapes. 
I've already threaded the ones that I'm going to use and applied my medical grade adhesive to them so they're ready to go. Now you're going to have one cord here that's got little knots on it and then you're going to have another cord that doesn't have any knots but a little hook that you hook onto the knots. And the way that I do my face tape is I like to secure from here to here and then from here to here. I just feel it gives me more lift and it gives me more stretching power because if I'm going from here to here, there isn't much for the row, uh, little cords to hang onto. I have to make it stretch around my head in order to get that lift. So I have to use both knotted sides on one side and then both non-knotted sides on the other side so that they meet up correctly and there's one knot and one hook to go around each side of my head. I like to use the um, flesh colored ones here because these run more of a risk of being exposed through movement and it's I think it's easier to hide a flesh toned cord than it is a dark cord and then I use the dark cords up here because those are going to be under my actual wig line. So we're going to go ahead and start with the application. This is a tan one. So I'm going to put this one just underneath my sideburn and I just tap it in. Now these have been sitting for a little bit so they're already tacky. So you want to just push really firm so you get a nice grip of the adhesive and you can see with the spray adhesive it really helps to hide and camouflage the tape than if you were just using it by itself or which I've done in the past with spirit gum you can see more of that demarcation between the tape and your own skin so I think each step of the way the more you're able to blend and conceal what you're doing the better your end result is going to be and then I'm going to take the dark one and I'm going to put that one right here which will lift up my eyebrow a little bit and again, it's the knotted side because this is knotted. And this one will go just here like this, kind of in line with my hairline right here because my wig hairline is going to go like this and then it'll completely cover them up. And then we just press and press and press to really get the adhesive to stick to my own skin and you can see how well it really blends which is another reason why I like the medical adhesive I feel it just lends itself to the process a little bit better and then we're gonna go in on this side and this is the unknotted side with the little hook and this will go on this side and I like to angle the ones around my sideburn mostly up with just a slight tilt back towards the ear. I find it to be a better and more realistic lift if I'm pulling straight up on the sides of my face because gravity doesn't make my face come out forward, gravity makes my face go down and in the interest of trying to fight gravity I just think it makes more sense to pull what's coming down up instead of back. And just pushing that in to make sure we get a nice grip of the adhesive on my skin and then we take this one and let's see she's gonna go right about here if it goes a little bit onto the wig cap that's okay but you want to make sure that you really get the bulk of the tape on the skin because that's what you're going to be pulling back and I just press nice and firm and then the last one we're going to do is for the neck and those go right behind the ear and these ones are really tricky for me I save them for the end because I don't like doing them um, but they are a necessary evil for me now so I take I hold this like this because this doesn't have the same mechanism as these do it's a shorter band so it's one band with two little hooks and I hold it where I don't have the adhesive and I stretch it back and I put one right behind my ear and then I want to press that before I attach the other side to make sure that I get a really good 
firm grip because if you apply pressure right away you might run the risk of pulling the tape off before it's had time for the adhesive to set. And then I'm going to hold that and bring this one around and attach this one to right behind my ear and I'm just going to press and hold that. And the ones around my hairline, they actually have a chance to kind of sit and hang out while I'm doing my makeup before I put pressure on them. But this neck one, because it's only one cord, it's, it's going to be pulling right away. So I just sit there and I, I hold these just for a couple seconds to make sure they're real tight and firm. And then you let it go. See, and it just kind of pulls everything back a little bit, if you guys can see that. And then we're going to fasten the other ta uh, tapes. So we'll take this guy, and we're going to pull him up with this guy. And we're going to attach the hook, just like that. And then we'll take these guys. Do the same exact thing. And I like to pull mine pretty tight, so I go down to the second from the last knot. And then bring it back behind the head. And then I finish everything off by putting on a nude wig cap, just to keep everything concealed and looking neat. And again, I feel like even when it comes to like my, my undergarments for my body, I really like to use flesh-toned material just because I feel it gives me an extra level of protection and concealing what I don't want people to see. So that if there is a flash of skin, you're not seeing a black hairnet or a black undergarment where it really shouldn't be. And then I just bring this down because I also like to use double-sided fashion tape on my wig lines. I don't like them to get all gummy and gunky with spirit gum. So this will give me a little something to put that onto. And then most of the workings of what I use for my facial structure is hidden underneath this and it just keeps it looking clean and then everything is nice and tight and pulled back. So if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!